My name is Mike Gaines. I live in Granger, Indiana. Racing pigeons has been my life since I was 12 years old. My grandfather had pigeons, then my father had pigeons. Uh, my brother started pigeons and I, I kind of watched him do it for several years. When we were juniors in high school, I met my wife and I explained to her about the pigeons and what I, what I do as a hobby and she took to it. Um, without her, I wouldn't be where I'm at now because she helps me so much. Both of us have the ambition to work very hard and when we strive for something, we don't give in and we don't stop until we get to the point we want to be. I said this four or five years ago that the pigeon sport is leaning toward one loft racing and the club racing competition is really dropping around the world. And I think I'm right. Uh, it is going that way. In America, there's over 20,000 pigeons in one loft races and there's 14, 15,000 fanciers in America. And now you have five multi-million dollar one loft races around the world. <laughs> Congratulations to you too, Mike. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Second place. Happy. All right. Moving along. Congratulations. And uh, out of out of twelve hundred two pigeons on a very good tough race. A good speed, not it was a good working race they call it. I'm very, very happy. Second place in, a, in a, the biggest race in the United States is huge. I think people have to realize one of the biggest uh, things, the secrets, I guess you could call it, is is race in that area with the genetics that are winning in that area. It's the same thing in Thailand. It's a different, different area, different climate very humid. Uh, you have to go back with birds that are proven in, in Thailand in the Pattaya race. Uh, then you have your best success in that area. I'm fond I would I would say the Pattaya race in Thailand is is the king of all one loft races at this time. I tell you what, it's nothing nothing that feels better than winning a race especially if you're at the race. You put all this hard work into, into building your loft, buying the breeders, coming up with the right matings, raising the babies so. to make sure they're 100% healthy, sending them to the race, and then watching them press, progress in training, and then the final race happens and you, and, you, and you do well, you know, then it's all worth it. My happy place is probably going on right now. But I have a, I have a great wife. I have two beautiful granddaughters. I have a great daughter and her husband. <clears throat> I'm very happy. Uh, I have good birds. I have lots of friends. And uh, I can't ask for anymore. I, uh, I want to be known as an honest person. Um, I care about everybody. I uh, try my hardest with the pigeons and with everything I do in life. And uh, I think uh, I think I want the GFL name to be known around the world as one of the best uh, racing pigeon breeding lofts. Uh, and uh, that's why I think we, my wife, my family, work hard at this to make sure that 
we are successful and uh, we'll be remembered uh, in the pigeon sport for, uh, for many more years.